Joe Palafsane, we've got a new uh, new guest. I'm sorry, he's from Caribbean. All right, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. Uh, so, in Joe Palafsane, we've got a uh, quick part questions. Yes. Not a problem. And uh, the first question comes at this: uh, Who is your, uh, who is Swadado? In five um, words, Swadado is an African avatar, mm -hmm. uh, a spirit of Africa. Yes. A combination of the diaspora. Yeah. And Africa. And African. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite Kenyan food? Uh, my Kenyan food is matoke. Matoke. Yes. From <laughs> banana. Yes, from <laughs> banana. I love matoke, and oh. I like uh, seafood. I've had. Uh, Octopus soup here in Mombasa. Yes, I love that. Yes, and last night I had a seafood oh. uh, salad with everything: fish, fish. prawns, etc. It reminds me of the islands. Okay, so that's good. Okay, then now uh, what's your what's your favorite Kenyan artist? Kenyan artist, um, hmm. that's gonna be a tough one. Mm -hmm. But uh, I have uh, I've done some collaboration with Kalmashiko. Mm -hmm. So I'm um, looking at her as one of my, I like the way she sings. Mm -hmm. um, I like my guy that I produced a collab with as well, mm -hmm. Ulopa. Wonderful. Yes, yeah, so Ulopa, Kevin Mashiko, and I did something with Prezi. Okay. So for the time being, I have to say that I like them first because I've done yeah. collaborations with them. But I'm looking forward to others. Okay. Salty Soul, I would love to. I like Salty Soul. They have a Caribbean flavor. Okay. You know, the way they play their music Wonderful. and express themselves. Okay. So I love Salty So. I can know who is your role model. My role model? Yeah. Ah, well, as I would say um, uh, the African role model or uh, any, any, any. any role model. Yeah, yeah role model. Uh, I think uh, Martin Luther King. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Nelson Mandela. Mm -hmm. I think Kenyans own. Yeah, mm -hmm. Lumumba. Okay. You know, it's a number of role models all about. Okay. Then what about uh, from the music industry? From the music industry, yeah. oh, it's a, a cross section. Yeah, okay. But Stevie Wonder, Marvin Gaye, mm -hmm. you know, um, you know, good old yeah. soulful music, meaningful. Mm -hmm. uh, on the uh, on the African side, mm -hmm. um, I love what. Uh, People from, uh, I say, Afrobeat, you know, uh, right. a lot of the Afrobeat artists, they're doing well, they're taking over the music form, so that's good. All right. Yeah. Uh, what's your most expensive thing that uh, you've ever owned? I've ever owned? Yeah. The most <laughs> expensive thing. The most expensive thing? Yeah. Wow. House. House. Yeah, I, I, I own three houses, so. Mm. Those are the most expensive. They would find a lot of money. Uh, maybe can you cut the the cost? The cost? Yeah. Um, if you're running into ten shillings, yeah, yeah it will be at least uh, twenty million uh, each. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So maybe my total number of properties is about okay sixty to eighty million. All right. Uh, do you support the artist uh, club chasing? Club chasing. Yeah. When what do you mean club chasing? You mean going to clubs and playing uh, in clubs? Somehow, uh, in like in our country, uh, uh -huh. some of the artists use uh, club chasing to support their or to promote their songs or their. Of course, yeah, because clubs make you closer to the people, and mm -hmm. it also gives you a platform mm -hmm. to uh, test your skills, right. your music skills, your performance skills. All right. And uh, also, you know, you get uh, a closeness to your fans. Mm -hmm. You know, you can play, listen to your fans' reaction, All reach right. out to them. Mm -hmm. I think it's good okay. because if you're in the music, you need to test okay. what your fans' reaction would be. Being in a big crowd, mm -hmm. yes, they follow you after you explode it. All right. But in the early days in uh, the U.S. UK and others, where you played and you know really got your skills crafted was in the clubs. Yeah. You know, yeah. like in London, you go to the speed, speed easy, right. or you go to any of these dives. You know, mm -hmm. uh, Shabins in uh, South Africa, uh, United States jazz clubs. You go there and you perfect your all right. art. All right, all right. Then now, uh, if it were not for music, uh, which career would you have? Would you have uh, pursued? 
Well, I pursued quite a lot of careers, and, and they're all behind me. Mm -hmm. Military, diplomatic, entrepreneurship. All those three I've done. you done? Yeah. So uh, you, are, you have that, that, that experience? Yeah, I've got that experience. I've got military experience, I've mm -hmm. got uh, diplomatic experience, I've got academic experience, I've mm -hmm. got business experience. All right. Uh, yeah. what's, uh, what are you proud of your Caribbean culture? Oh. Our ladies, our sea, our sun, our food. Oh, your you know, food? They're all, they're all exotic. Oh. Yeah, our food is beautiful. We have, for example, in Trinidad, you could cook 365 meals in a year, one for every day of the year. And our ladies are one Miss World, Miss uh, Universe. Mm -hmm. And we have Nicki Minaj, we have Cardi B, we have Rihanna. Mm -hmm. You know, they're also very artistic. Okay. Okay, then. Um uh if we if, if we just for 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 our fans or uh, who are watching us uh maybe someone may or might want to know the why you want the mask okay is, there, well, is it your symbol my, or yeah no my my id needs to be protected at this point in time okay because of my background and what i do oh all right so it's very important but also oh. uh, i died four years ago and came back as an african avatar all right. So uh, it's a very spiritual thing as well. So it's a combination of the two, protecting my ID, uh, ID, right, and also the avatar spirit. Yes. You know, uh, the African spirit, you mm -hmm. know, is promoting African culture. All right. We used to wear masks, you know, um, and still do in some African cultures. All to right. Express our spirituality. To express, you know, our culture, mm -hmm. the dances, the mass dances that you have in Benin, in Nigeria, right. Ghana, everywhere. So it's still part of our. Okay. Uh, then, uh, lastly, what's your advice to the upcoming artist? Artist, yeah. But learn to monetize your talents. Mm -hmm. You know, manage, brand, you know, um, and uh, learn the craft, learn the art of uh, music and performance. Yes. At least play an instrument. If you don't play an instrument, write. If you don't write, learn to perform. You know, if you think about Motown, Motown did all of that. It was a school for teaching, organizing, managing talent. Yes. So you need to learn your talent because if that's what you do and it's the only thing you do, then you need to be able to manage it well and be professional. All right. You know, most artists, you know, up and coming, they just want to copy. Don't copy. Create your own genre, create your own style, then brand it. Yes. Manage it. Monetize it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Not a problem. Okay. Love Until next time. Yeah. My name I'll is Brad Kalama. Yeah. Uh, this is Chupa Lapsani. Yeah. Maybe can you give us uh, an acapella? Acapella. Yeah, uh, for your song. Okay, and one of the song, songs yeah, which one? one? Of song, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lauren, yeah, yeah, yeah. you better wake up. Yeah. I need a jet plane to take you non-stop. I can't wait in New York City. When there is sunshine and woman in my country. Darling, Lauren, don't cry, I'm leaving. I can't miss this jamming. With all them steel band playing. A woman back wrong shaking. If you can't find your baby. You can come and find me inside the telly, Stephen. Jamming with someone, woman. <laughs> Thank you so uh, much. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you very much. Okay.